Okay, so um, this video is going to be mostly about Noah. So, um, Noah's in a lot of our videos, and you'll always see him in the background doing his own thing. Um, what inspired me to make a video about Noah is to, I've noticed that a lot of uh, Anatolian Shepherd dogs come on the market shortly when they you're a dirty dog <laughs> um you know as you know at a puppy state still and um uh, great pyrenees are are popular in the farming world but anatolian shepherds are not so much so i want to sort of tell a story of why we got him in the first place um we weren't really considering a dog and a dog showed up on our property and started laying on our front porch and we absolutely um loved the dog he was really great with the chickens and everything and we finally took the dog to the vet and he had a chip uh, and so he was owned by somebody a couple blocks down but then, uh, lo and behold, we were like, oh, we want a dog just like this dog. And so we started to research the breed of Anatolian Shepherd. I'm going to come over here and sit down and we'll try and watch Noah as I talk about him. Anyhow, so we got, we, we got a puppy that was, I think he was 12 weeks old from um see your pretty face oh he is <laughs> from uh, a, a place in brooksville that bred lots of dogs they had lots of dogs on 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 premises and so forth and uh, so we brought noah home and our thought was well we kept him in a room in the chicken coop when we first got him because we thought originally we we're going to have him guard the chickens you know and uh, we really, uh, being previous dog owners, couldn't stand having him out there by himself. And not only that, he was with 14 dogs as he was raised. So um, he definitely did not like being put in that room up there in the chicken coop. Now, thinking back, we probably should have left him there. Anyhow, we... Um, we came up with a, we, we started bringing him in the house, but we knew we didn't want him in the house. He's a large dog. We didn't want him permanently in the house because, well, you know, they reach havoc. And his general breed is a farm dog. The house is too small for a dog like this. So we came up with a plan of... When the birds were out, he would come in the house. So he guards the property all night long. And when we let the birds free range, he would come in the house. Um, that way, he was only outside with the birds where, when we could watch him and so forth. And as a puppy, he definitely had that prey drive and would run after the birds quite a bit. Um, but I think from being with us and watching how we, our attitudes towards the bird and so forth, he realizes that this is not, that he shouldn't be running, um, and attacking the birds. He still gives chase once in a while, but we have been leaving him more and more out on his own with the birds. Um, now they're highly recommended for things like goats and sheeps and uh cows and things like that of that nature but um you know when we read into the dog breed we heard oh only for experienced dog owners well here's the thing what what does that mean you know yeah we've had dogs before it was a hard to potty train with what, what experienced dog owners well here's the few things that are a little different about our dog and i'm not going to say it's a breed as a whole because i don't know about other dogs within the breed that people may not realize noah is not um he is not food driven at all. You can offer him treats. He wouldn't even get up to walk across the room to get get one from you. He don't he don't respond to that. He's watching a butterfly. 
Um, uh, he really he eats minimal food. Also, um, he likes to he likes to bite. Now, with that said, he doesn't get aggressive. He's biting out of play, like dogs play together. And I almost believe that in our circumstance, where he's not in a uh, situation where he's with other goats uh, or with a, a animal, a large animal to protect, that he needs um, a dog friend because he does like to bite. He, you know, if you ever watch these, you know, you see two of these Anatolian shepherds running around, they're constantly biting at each other's legs, at each other's throats. Um, that is how they play together as dogs. And they try and do that with their humans also. Um, it's taken a while for us to figure out what was going on with that. Now, a lot of times what I'll do when he's biting on us or, or really giving us a hard time is I'll grab him by the leash and, um, make him set and calm down and then I'll pet him. Um, I think, you know, this, it, I'm trying to show him this is how we give each other attention, you know, but, um, there's a, there's a huge desire for them to, uh, to kind of nip at ankles and run about. And uh, when we come in the house at night, he tries to control us by doing those same sorts of things. Um, and keeping him down has been a hard thing. He likes to run and jump up on our backs and so forth. But um, he's calming down as he gets older. And I'm not meaning to complain about our dog. I'm meaning to put out what... Um, and it's hard to train a dog that is not uh, food oriented either. Um, not necessarily attention ori oriented. I'll, I'll give you an example too of uh, some a little bit of issues that we have with them is like when I go to work in the morning, um, we have I have to get out the gate. So generally, I wake up my husband and he brings the dog in for a few minutes so I can get down the driveway and, and, and go on to work. Hey, sweet boy, you're showing how pretty uh, shepherds can be, can't you? Well, uh, he'll lay out, he'll be laying out in the driveway in the morning and, um, and I'll call him in the house and he'll just lay there and stretch out and yawn and uh, th this sort of thing. <laughs> and I call him three or four times trying to entice him in the house. We got milk bones and all that. Finally, he'll decide to come in, but he, they, they, because they think on their own, they, they're not very obedient. He's like, you know, I know you're just going to bring me in the house and 15 minutes later I'm going to be out here so I might as well just stay out here you know so I think I think they've already thought that logic through um the other thing and this is a huge thing sort of um is I've been picking up I you know I've been trying to start a nursery so we have pots and things and um i have boxes of things like this that are uh hanging baskets and 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 um i'll i'll just show you an example of some of the stuff he's done um he's taken shipping boxes that's come in and ripped them apart before i've even opened them but um over here i've got some hanging black baskets hanging i've got some pots over here that he's drug around. He likes to toss them up in the air and play with them. This right here is a box that he's opened up and spread across the lawn and a hanging basket liner that's been shredded to pieces. And um, also, well, and then these little pots. And he's got to get a new one out every time he plays with them. And like he digs this hole in the ground and so forth. Um, now, I just know that at some point we have to figure out a way to secure these items to keep him from uh, destroying them. But in my mind, I sort of think, well, if he had a, had a, uh, a dog buddy, he probably wouldn't be doing these things as much. 
but I could I could be wrong and I could double down on the problem too so you know how that works but um, so I'm not planning on getting another dog because generally speaking large dogs are very expensive to uh, keep you know with the vet bills everything's by weight um, extremely expensive and uh, it's just not what we're thinking about doing at the moment uh, now you know and then there's people who buy these dogs because they want a large dog on the inside to feel safe and secure and they look at their face and they look very much like a German Shepherd uh, they get bored real easy they try and chew up stuff in the house and so forth so these are the reasons why I think they wind up on the market for for sale and I'm not trying to uh, negate the breed because he's, he is a beautiful dog and he will work out we're just changing the way we do things and I just figured I'd throw out some thoughts that people may not have thought thought about you know um, he's very comfortable getting dirty uh, getting into water We've seen him bring a rat. He's brought us a rat once up to the front porch. He's killed, and I actually wish he'd get more of them. <laughs> but that's yet to be seen. And uh, so basically that's what he does at night. He sleeps up under my husband's truck. He has uh, the whole property to roam. And um, our chickens and turkeys are locked up at night. And uh, so we, uh, we appreciate him being a guard dog for our property. Anyhow, um, we love him. And uh, I wouldn't have another dog, a different kind of dog. Um, another thing I was going to bring up too, part of the reason why we got him is because we're in Florida. And, uh, you know, a great Pyrenees with their coats and so forth. I had worried about the heat and so forth. Um, so we figured he was a better breed. I don't know how that's going to play out in the long run. And um, one other comment, uh, too, that we get, you know, Anatolian Shepherd or Kangle. Well, they say they're two different breeds, you know, um, they're they're both dogs from turkey they're both from different like city not cities but areas of the country so i mean that would be like in america i guess a dog from california and a dog from new york i mean they're the, they're from the same country but from different areas so i i, I really there's not much differences but i do believe that some of the kangles that i have seen are larger we're gonna go see what he's doing our larger yep he's up under my husband's truck where he spends a lot of his time and he sees i'm coming to peek at him so he's like what but that's more or less his bed he has his own bed but he likes it under there anyways but that's what i mean too he doesn't always want to be at your feet he um he will generally be i don't know 20 to 30 feet from me somewhere doing his own thing most times when i'm walking in the yard now if you're a gardener too if you dig a hole he's gonna dig a hole too so um there might be challenges with that uh, also, but so Noah, say hi to everybody. Say hi. Oh, <laughs> yep, you're on camera. That's a pretty smile. Okay, have a great day, and uh, thanks for watching our video about our dog Noah the Anatolian Shepherd, and um, I hope if you're thinking about getting one, that these are some thoughts that you keep in mind. Please like and subscribe. We're a new channel, and we could really use the subscriptions. Have a good day. Bye.